let's just make sure that we have a couple things um, obviously understood. And then let's kind of go from there, all right? So it says a ball has dropped off a 400 foot towel. And the equation that represents that is h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 400. So you know, we have some kind of tower here. Doo -doo -doo. Obviously, we know that this is the shape of a parabola. We know that's negative, so it's going down. So the shape of the ball looks something like that. Or shape, the path of the ball is representing something like that. And then there's your grounds. Roughly something like that, right? Just to give us a visual understanding. Would everybody is OK with what I have? All right, so they're asking us to, um, how long did it take for the ball to hit the ground? So what are they asking? Are they asking for the height? Are they asking for velocity, acceleration? What are they asking for? Time. Time. So we're asking for t. t equals what? So therefore, we've got to solve for t. OK, well, I, have that. I can solve for t. That's you know, quadratic. I've done solving for quadratics. I need to represent what h of t is. So h of t is, remember, the output value. It's all based on what the time value is. So if t was 0, if t is 0, what is h of t? 400, right? And that's the initial height. Because time, when time is 0, that's like your initial time, right? That's when you start. That's before the ball dropped. It's 400 feet up on top of the tower, right? But after that, it starts to fall. We want to know how long does it take for it to fall. So we want to know how long does it take for it to get from 400 all the way down to 0. zero. So what we all were doing is just solving a quadratic equation. 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 400. So now, yeah, we've got to go back and do some algebra here. Uh, I can go ahead and subtract 400 on both sides. Now, again, we're assuming we don't have a calculator, all right? So what, a lot of times what I like to do here is don't simplify things, because we know we're going to have to take the square root. So I can write this as t squared equals 400 over 16. Don't try to divide 16 into 400. There's a lot of people that, a lot of you guys that got things wrong on that related rates. Remember that I didn't have the calculator for? A lot of you guys like mess things up, but try to keep things simplified. Don't try to like overdo things. Because guys, rather than trying to divide 16 into 400, which we could figure out, right? We could do some math to the side. But notice, guys, these are both square numbers. Go ahead and take the square root on both sides. Well, what number multiplied by itself gives us 400? Well, I know 2 times 2 gives me 4. So what about 20 times 20? Does that give me 400? Yeah. So therefore, t is equal to, now remember, when we're taking the square root, we're going to introduce plus or minus. So that's going to be 20 over 4, which is equal to plus or minus 5. However, we're talking about time. And in this context of this problem, does time being negative make any sense? No, because we're talking about 0, right? That's your initial time. So therefore, it is going to be 5 seconds. Did I represent anything with seconds? No, I did not. So and t, how long would it take? in seconds. Sorry, I forgot to add that unit. So therefore, it'd be five seconds. Does that make sense? Yes? No?